Hey everyone, it's me Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are on Tanglewood Island finally with another build video. If you're new here, I make Animal Crossing videos and I'm currently on the road to 150k so be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to keep up with my Animal Crossing Island and see more videos from me. Now let's go, let's go get to work on my island, okay? We haven't been here in a while to do a build and I'm really excited. I'm feeling very very inspired on this good morning. I've had some caffeine in my system, so we're good to go. We're gonna be decorating my house finally, which is gonna go right back here, right against the lake. I decorated my house exterior to match that of a cabin, like a log cabin vibe, so I wanted to do like a cabin in the woods type build today. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. I normally don't decorate the inside of my house in this game, but with it being like a log cabin in the woods on the lake, I was thinking maybe we could actually try to decorate the inside. Not today, not today. We don't, we don't have time today, but eventually maybe we will. No promises because, you know, like I said, I never do that. I was thinking it would be cool to like make it a themed house, like maybe a little like hotel or a lodge or something, a little Airbnb, if you will. We're heading in here right now so we can actually move my house over to the lake. Let me just talk to little Tom Nook here. Okay, we got the house. Let's go put it in its new designated spot. I'm so excited to see how this build will turn out. I don't really have like a very set in stone plan for this build. I just know that I want the cabin to be like at the very end of this long stretch of land. And then I want there to be just like a little dirt pathway leading up to it, maybe some trees on the side and like maybe a picnic area or something. I wanna decorate the beach as well today. So we'll decorate this whole little area. Let's put the house right back here at the very end of the stretch. I think that this is gonna be the perfect spot. Let me go ahead and imagine it so we can get a little teaser, see how it'll look. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, this is so cute. Look at the little wreath that I put on my door. Isn't it just adorable? And I just love the cabin colors. We're definitely gonna put it in this spot. I love how it's against the trees as well. Super cute. Um, should I do the pathway now? I think I'm gonna do the pathway now. Before we time travel, let's go ahead and get that done. And then I'll also plant some trees. That way when we do time travel, the trees will already start growing, we'll be one step ahead of the game. I'm just gonna do like a simple dirt pathway all the way from this bridge down to the cabin. I'm probably gonna speed this part up or skip through the pathway so that you guys don't have to watch me place every individual part of it, but just know it's gonna be like a little squiggly dirt pathway that just goes all the way up to our cabin. I think I've made it to a stopping point since, you know, the house isn't here yet. I'm not really sure how I want to line up this like final piece of the pathway, but this is what I have going so far. It's just a little thin squiggly pathway. Let me go ahead and fill in this piece right here. I forgot about this. Oh no. No, why? Why can't the pathways just be easily placed? Why do I always have to mess it up? Let me fix this now. Okay, this is the pathway so far. I think it looks really good. I'm going for like a thin pathway right here. That way we have plenty of room to plant some trees and place some items on the sides here, especially since this is a pretty narrow um, area as is so yeah, we went with a little tiny thin pathway I think it looks really good though. It's definitely giving like windy dirt path in the middle of the woods vibe Which is exactly what we're going for. So that's perfect. I'm also just gonna go ahead and place some trees around here Oh Oh, I guess I only have one cedar tree sapling, so, um, yeah, good thing I brought my storage shed over here. I don't even know if I have any saplings in my storage, but I'm gonna go ahead and check because that would be great. I really hope that we don't have to go buy them. And yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna have to go and buy some. I'm gonna get some mushrooms out of here while I'm in my inventory and also some shrub starts because I don't have any of those either. And now I'm gonna have to run to the nook's cranny and my cat is meowing, so sorry. He's going crazy. He has the cutest little mouse toy that he's playing with and he's just screaming. Okay, hear me out. Imagine a bunch of these cute little pinwheels in my front yard in front of the cabin. I think that this is gonna be adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and buy three of them. I don't know if I'll use them all. And I'm also gonna buy this little lemon umbrella here because it's really cute as well. And I think that it would look nice if we did 
like a little picnic area or something and had the cute little yellow umbrella. I would love that. And yeah, let's not forget what we came here for, the saplings. Let's head back to the lake area and plant these lovely trees. I'm gonna try to do like an assortment of tiny trees and medium trees and full-grown trees because I think it would look really nice. I do have like a lot of full-grown trees just lining the lake here, but it would be cool if we had like some little tiny trees along the way. So we're gonna try to do that as well. We're just gonna do an assortment of trees in no particular order just lining the pathway to give that woodsy foresty look here i know that my island is cottagecore themed but a lot of you always are like um this is not cottagecore this is this is forest core and <laughs> yes it does give major forest vibes but it's also very cottagecore it's just like a cottage forest who said that you can't be cottagecore in a forest okay and i think that that's good for trees i think we have enough trees happening in this area now i'm just gonna go around and shrub it up with some lovely shrubs because you know they're they're my favorite thing to add on this island especially i totally recommend getting two different types of shrubs like i have here because then it gives it more of a assortment and like a variety with the colors and just like the leaves and stuff it looks a lot better than just having like a big blob of the same shrubs everywhere. I don't know if you guys are following, but yeah, that's that's my tip. That's my shrub tip of the day. <laughs> I'm also going to place some shrubs right here. That way this area is kind of blocked off as well from the public. <laughs> I think that this is just gonna have to be weeds back here. Oh, or we could do like a secret like seating area right against the ocean. Wait, I think that that would actually be a really, really nice idea. I think maybe we could even fit like just the tiniest, the teeniest, tiniest dirt pathway right back here and it could be like a secret little hangout spot. Um, yes, that would be so, so cute. I'm definitely gonna do that. Let me just place some of this dirt right here. Um, hello, who am I right now with all these cute little ideas? This is gonna be adorable. We can put just like a log bench down there and it can just be a secret seating spot slash like photo opportunity on my island. So those who are watching this video will probably be the only ones to see it because knowing me, I'll probably forget that this is even back here. And yeah, um, oh, I don't need to close this. Let me just drop some mushrooms back here. I think that would be adorable. And there we go. Okay, so I think that this is good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just time travel so we can start getting some of these shrubs and trees in the works and our house will also be placed and I'll be back, okay? I will see you in a second. Oh, okay, we're here. Oh my gosh, I forgot that like we spawn in in our house and yeah, so that was easy. We're already back in the area and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. Just having the shrubs like grown in has already made such a difference and look at how beautiful and woodsy this is you're gonna follow the pathway all the way down to my house this is so so cute and i love all the little baby trees we're definitely gonna have to keep some of these including this one here so i'm actually gonna go ahead and move this little flower and then we can plant like a little piece of fruit here that way this tree will stay that size um Oh my gosh, okay, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. Everything's grown in so fast. I only time traveled two days, what's happening? Okay, we need to go get some fruit though because yeah, I don't have any and we're definitely gonna want to stop some of those trees from growing because those are just adorable. Um, the, the next cranny is closed. Okay, maybe we have to take a little adventure across the island to go get some fruit from some fruit trees. I mean, surely I have a fruit tree somewhere on this island that we can find um oh yeah here we go here's some apples i see that this tree this tree decided not to grow but i really do like the look of the sapling here anyways so i'm gonna leave that there for now and let's go ahead and bury ourselves an apple here so that this tree doesn't grow any further i'm also gonna do some flowers back here add some color into the build I'm gonna put some flowers back here as well, some yellows, maybe some more oranges as well. We also have some white flowers, I can't forget about those. And I do want you to be able to get to the beach from this spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just place some of this little 
brick pattern that way it's kind of like a little pathway into the beach there this looks so good i don't know which other trees that i want to stop from growing i think that maybe this one here would look really cute um just in this size so i am gonna place an apple sapling right there um i think everything else i'm gonna let maybe grow a few days i'm gonna go ahead and just open up my island designer app and finish up the pathway that way we can see kind of what it looks like and then we can add those pinwheels right in front of my house i think it would look super adorable so let me go ahead and just finish up this pathway i only have one more piece to place and bam we are done oh this is gonna be amazing i am just so obsessed i'm gonna go ahead and place these pinwheel items i think they're so cute and look how tiny they are oh my gosh i think that maybe i want to bring it up here and maybe scooch it over a little bit that way it's not blocking the pathway as much i'm gonna place a design here that way it doesn't look too empty and we can push it right here oh it's so cute it's so cute and tiny i think we could even use one right in this spot as well why am i so obsessed with these these are so cute i love them so much yes okay i think that that's good i don't want to do too many of them i don't want to do uh just pinwheels everywhere it might be a little extreme so i think we're gonna stick with two for now and i'm just gonna spam some of these custom designs over here as well just to fill in these empty spaces back here there's not really room for an item i mean i could place items here but what i'm trying to say is it won't really be showing so i'm just gonna put weeds there i am gonna spruce up this pathway though with some more mushrooms that way it looks a little bit more detailed a little bit more overgrown speaking of overgrown i did want to get some wheat field items for this build as well so i think i might have to order some of those from the nook stop before we time travel again because i think that those would look so adorable in this area really give that overgrown effect as well this is coming along so nicely oh i love it so much i'm gonna go do that right now i'm gonna go order those wheat fields before i forget and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and time travel to the next day that way we can get those wheat fields and also some of the trees will grow a little bit taller and we can see what that looks like i am just obsessed with the wheat field item it's it's one of my favorite items it might actually be my favorite item in the game i mean i use it so much now I feel like I could never even decorate an island after the 2.0 update without using the wheat fields. I mean, they're just such a good item. Like, chef's kiss. I know that they had the wheat fields in New Leaf, but I just, I love them so much. I'm, I'm a wheat field enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> I need that on merch. I should make a shirt that says we build enthusiast or like a sticker or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna time travel and I will be right back. We're back and I time traveled one day ahead. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. See all the trees have grown. Oh my gosh, it's looking more and more overgrown every single day. I also need to grab our wheat fields out of our mailbox here that we ordered yesterday so let me go ahead and do that look at that i had <laughs> i told you guys i'm so obsessed with the wheat fields that i had literally already ordered some a while back and i never got them out of <laughs> out of the mailbox so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those oh wow i actually have a lot of cute furniture in my mailbox why why haven't I been checking this? I'm definitely going to get all of this out because all of these items seem like they could be really cute in this area. Look at this. Look at past me coming in clutch with the items. I, I don't even remember ordering those, to be completely honest, but I'm really happy that I did nonetheless. I do have this really cute little flower basket item in my inventory. I'll zoom in on it while I edit so you guys can see it more clearly. This little flower petal basket, I'm wondering if we could put that on a table because I think it would be so adorable just to have a little flower basket sitting on a table like come on i don't know if we can place it here it is a handheld item um oh my gosh we can and it's so tiny it's such a tiny little flower basket and i love it so much that's definitely going to stay there i mean come on you guys that is so adorable and now we can start placing some of our wheat field items as well since we have so many i'm just gonna place them randomly throughout the build just to give this area some detail and just 
you know, go for that overgrown, foresty, woodsy vibe. I think that the Wheatfields do a great job in making that. I did get a cruiser bike out of my mailbox, so I think I'm also going to place this into the build, just kind of hidden back there in the trees. I also did have a garden faucet that I brought with me that we can have running right here. I think that would look really cool. And maybe we could even have like this little milk can next to it. That way it looks like it's being filled up with water. If that makes any sense, maybe we could, oh no, we can't bring it forward. Oh no, oh no, I don't want it to block the view of like the water trickling down. Oh, I think it looks fine though. I think it looks fine and it doesn't have like the milk logo on it so you can't really tell that it's you know made for milk this vintage stool is like really really cute I love it so much and then we also have the strapped books item oh they kind of hang off the edge a little bit but I think that it could work just just a little book moment just these random little tables with items on them I think it works I think it looks fine oh and we have some bunnies we can never go wrong with some bunnies in the build. That would look so cute to have a little rabbit hopping around in this area. Maybe like right here next to this bike would actually be really cute for a bunny to be like peeking out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's so adorable. Look at it peeking out. <laughs> so cute. Now let's go put that bench behind the house before I forget that since we have this little like secret spot back here and oh my gosh it's gonna be so cool i can't wait to see what it looks like when we try to take a photo here i just need to find the um the bench i don't know where it went okay here it is oh yes this is this is perfect look at it oh my gosh and you'll be able to like take a picture at the very back of the island i adore that i think that's such a cute touch i think the storage shed could also be really cute in this area especially since it is right next to my house and whenever i come into game and i need items i always hate going inside of my house because you know the loading screens it takes a while i think it would be nice to have just a storage shed out here that way we can easily access that when we open our game and from this little area it's it's looking a little empty in this little grass zone so i am gonna just create a little brick pathway to lead us to our storage shed and also to the beach that is on the right here that way it's just like a nice clear pathway so whenever you guys or whoever is visiting my island they can easily navigate their way to the beach here. I do think that the picnic should maybe be on the beach. I'm not really sure. I think it would be cool to have one like right here since we do have this little pathway kind of opening up to the beach. I have a bunch of different picnic rugs. I don't know which pattern I want to do. Maybe this like plaid sprout pattern. I haven't used this yet and it's really, really adorable. By the way, if you do want to use or download any of the custom designs, that I use on this island. I have a Google Doc with all of them listed out that you can access in the description of this video. I have a link there for you. This is really, really cute though, and I do really like it. I'm gonna just place some of these items around on top of it. I do have like a book here that I think would look really nice, and then I did bring some food items as well. We got some apple pie and I did get something else. I don't know what this food is. The Oh yeah, the little bread basket. It would be so perfect, so nice. Let's do a candle too. So when it's dark, we'll actually be able to see. Let's see, is there anything else that I want to add? Um, I forgot that I bought that umbrella earlier at the Nook's Cranny and that would be adorable to have here yes it matches with the yellow flowers so so nicely maybe some wheat fields could be a nice addition like add some height and also just some like greenery some some livelihood into this area oh yeah oh yeah i'm actually really liking the wheat field on the beach vibe um let's see if i have any more yes i do so so cute we could even do some party lights um on the beach i don't know if these would look good necessarily in this oh oh okay okay that looks so adorable and let's not forget to add some weeds as well that's always a great way to add some detail into your beach build now i think that the windmill would look best back here i think it would just be a nice backdrop to the house and also it would just look cool against 
the rocks and like the ocean in the background um yes yes it's so cute and see from here you can kind of see it in the back a wooden box there we go it kind of works just just some random stuff we could even throw like a mushroom on top of it again just going for that like overgrown kind of rundown vibe with this area and then maybe just some barrels over here this area just looks kind of random to me back here but i think that i like it i think that i like it i'm gonna go to time travel like a few more days so that the trees that we have that need to grow just a little bit more can do that and then we'll come back for the final walkthrough of this build so i will see you shortly and we'll take our final look okay we're back on the island oh my goodness i keep forgetting that we like spawn right in so i guess we're ready for the final walkthrough i'm gonna run to the entrance of this area so that you guys can see it like coming from that direction since when you're visiting my island that's the direction that you'll be coming from all right so we've made it over into this area if you want some context, this is connected to my shopping district, and if you go over in this direction, we do have my island's plaza. So when you guys do visit my island, all you have to do is walk this pathway all the way around this little curve, and then you'll end up over here, which will lead you to our little cabin in the woods. It's looking adorable. I love this area so much. It's so overgrown, so full of wildlife and plants and just beautiful scenery and let, let's not forget that this is literally right next to a very large lake so it looks even cooler when you look at it from this perspective i think it turned out really really cool and the little cabin in the back is just so cute it's so hidden away and it looks very magical we got our little pinwheels i think it turned out amazing i love the little flower basket on the table and then we have this area back here so you guys can see this a little bit better i think it looks so cool with the lake and the ocean in the back it's just very full of water if you guys haven't been following along i've been trying to do like one form of waterscaping in each build i know we technically didn't do any waterscaping today but i figured since it's like right next to this huge lake that that kind of counts right but yeah then we can cross over here and we do have our little beach area i'm thinking that i might order some more wheat field items to place back here to give this a little bit more detail and also just continue that overgrown vibe but overall i do like the furniture back here i think it looks really cool and then we of course have our secret seating area at the back here where you can overlook the ocean let's not forget our picnic area now we can head down here go through the little lights and we have a cute little picnic area where we can hang out eat some pie or some bread read a book yeah, it, it's so cute. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, this might be one of my favorite like house builds that I've ever done. I always leave my house for last um, when I decorate islands. I end up having to do something super last minute and like in a very small space. So I'm really glad that I did my house early on on this island that way we could give it a very nice area like it deserves and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this build if you did be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more animal crossing videos and just to follow along this island if you would like to i try to upload videos of this island at least once a week so be sure to keep an eye out for those i appreciate you guys so much thank you for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye